What is up? Turtle here coming at you with a very different kind of video. Um, I've been talking a lot about PSA grading, so kind of submitting our own cards, and we're finally doing it. So we are preparing for our first 50 card submission, and we have two huge stacks of cards. Actually, this regular size stack, and then this much larger uh, size stack. So this was actually 40 cards of a 50 card submission that I kind of picked out, and then we're going to quickly show some of the cards that we still want to get graded and I want to hear from you guys what additional 10 cards or if you have any suggestions for those last 10 slots let me know in a comment down below there's a lots of cool stuff in here we got some base set I think some jungle fossil other Watsy stuff um, Japanese promos you know I love those as well as some modern cards so let's go through the 40 cards that I already picked to send the PSA and then we'll hit this huge stack over here and let me know in a comment down below what you think I should send all right, we're going to start with our modern cards. Uh, just some cards that we pulled in the last few years that I really like. And yeah, they probably aren't too cr crazy expensive, even if they come back as a 10. But just cards I do want to get encased in a PSA slab. So here we go. We have a from Unbroken Bonds, Guardian, Scardivar, Sylveon. Uh, how can you not like each of those Pokemon? And you know, like maybe this is the last... Um, significant fairy that will ever be printed so guardian guard of our sylveon is our first card and then still with unbroken bonds ah this card is super special to me but also kind of bittersweet the reshizar the first like insane tag team in my opinion actually i guess peek around was first but uh, the first one to deal like 300 damage easily Although six energy is a lot, but you know this guy when he first came out was going for like 200 dollars and now it's down to like 50 so I do definitely want to grade it's graded, but it is a little bit of a bittersweet card. We have the Mega Charizard from Evolutions. Very cool card. Love this art. Um, this, this Lost Thunder? Lost Thunder Alolan Ninetales. Basically, we have a handful of the kind of like the most, at least at one point, one of the most sought, some of the most sought after cards. The Rainbow Rare Alolan Ninetales. The Rainbow Blacephalon, also from Lost Thunder. Still a pretty good card, too. And then Celestial Storm Chase card, Rayquaza GX. Man, I feel like this card is actually an ex excellent example of power creep in the TCG. When this card came out, it was like, wow, that is really insane. And now like, oh my gosh, 30 damage for each energy? Come on, that's so weak. Ah, Burning Shadows Charizard. Every single time we open Burning Shadows, this is the card we're looking for. And this one, compared to the last one we pulled, which is in terrible quality, this one I think is pretty good. Uh, there's a couple, like pieces of whitening so i'm not sure this will get a 10 but definitely want to get this encased and of course we need some hidden fates cards in here and that is the charizard i believe this is one of the ones we pulled ourselves, and i think i do have high hopes for this one getting that 10 next on hidden fates card is a umbreon man umbreon's like a fan favorite i didn't realize until hidden fates so i definitely and this one does look pretty good as well hoping to get this one a stack of 10. a couple, couple cards more from hidden fates cynthia such a good card all right on to japanese promos i love japanese promos and man there's actually enough probably like over 100 japanese promos in here but some of my favorite ones these screen promos are awesome so we do have one of each of those in the Rowlet, Screen Pikachu. Actually, I actually think we have two Mimikyu's. This is like the most expensive one. I think it's over $100 just to pick this up raw. And we got two of those. And then we got some of our Poncho Pikachu's. Some of my favorite uh, Japanese uh, promos are these cosplays. This is the Mega Charizard. We got Magikarp. And then the Mario. We got Mario and Luigi. These cards are surprisingly expensive as well. Really excited to get these graded. All right, now we got some vintage stuff. I believe this is one I pulled before I started my YouTube channel. We actually pulled this straight from a pack, a base Blastoise, and it does look pretty good. Would be amazing to pull that 10, although I see maybe a little bit white nick right there. Still from base set, we got Chansey, number three. All right, so we did skip number four, but don't worry, there are some basic Charizards in here, but they are towards the back. Clefairy, Hitmonchan. So I believe these are all like from my PSA base set collection. These are all still all cards I don't have 10 of. So it would be awesome to check some of those boxes off. All right, moving on to jungle. This is actually a really cool card. Flareon, but it also is part of the no symbol set. 
You see it's kind of missing that uh, jungle symbol. First edition Scyther. And then moving on to Fossil, we got the first appearance of Dragonite in the TCG for as far as like the regular sets go. And we have Fossil. I'm not sure, I can't remember what came out first. I'm guessing Fossil came out before the movie because they had that kind of like that Messenger Dragonite from the movie promo. Then Articuno, the first printing of Articuno in one of the regular sets. Uh, base set only had Zapdos. And there we have our Moltres from Jungle as well. Moving on to Rocket, the biggest card in the Rocket set is definitely this Rocket Charizard, or Dark Charizard. And this one is first edition as well, looks pretty good. I love that art, you know, it does kind of, that Charizard does look a little evil. So amazing card right there, really excited to get this graded. Alright, so we do have a Magneton in here. And the reason is, I think this one is ridiculously hard to grade to get a 10. And we did have a first edition copy, so we figured we might as well send that in. All right, I think this is Gym Challenge, Erica's Venusaur. Very cool. Any kind of time there's a base set evolution, it's always a good card to have. And then Blaine's Charizard. Awesome card. And this is the one with air, which I believe is the more common one, where you see this has a fighting energy as opposed to a fire. I think this is an error that I don't think PSA, when I kind of plugged this in, I didn't see one for the error, so I think it's just Blaine's Charizard. Alright, then some Neo stuff. We got Lugia himself. I think I can see some scratching in here, but this is a pretty iconic card. First, first introduction of Lugia as far as the regular sets go, and it's a terrible card. You need three different kind of energy for 90 damage, you discard all of them. <laughs> but very iconic card nonetheless. Alright, and here is our last five cards of our PSA submission. Again, this is only 40 cards, guys, so I want to hear from you guys what additional 10 cards should be submitted. We have one base set Charizard, two base set Charizards, three base set Charizards, four base set Charizards, and five. Uh, I guess if we can quickly look at the backs. I don't think any of these will get the 10, but I feel like these are good. Maybe good eight or nines. Yeah, this one does have a significant white nick down there. Same here, but they're all pretty minor. So yeah, I don't think this will fetch a 10, but hoping for some nines in these cards. And that is our base set Charizards that we're sending off. All right, now let's go through some additional cards that have yet to be sent off the PSA. So this one's only 50 card submission since it is our first one, uh, but we'll kind of try to do some of these like uh, maybe every month, every other month, and maybe we'll do some larger orders just so I kind of understand. I want to make sure I get the process down before that. All right, some more Hidden Fate stuff. We got a Gold Bulu, pulled a bunch of these, and this one felt pretty good, well centered. Another Burning Shadows Charizard. And this one, oh, this one's not that good, but anytime, I think I want to get all these graded no matter what, eventually. Another Reshizard. We did pull a handful of Hidden Fates Charizards. We got more of those. All right, these cards are not very expensive at all, but I think it would be cool to have a PSA 10 collection. I think they're all here except for the Pikachu one. I'm sure I have plenty of my collection that I just have to dig up. So maybe, actually, that might be a good card just to buy, already graded. But we got some more base set cards. We got a couple more Hitmonchans, the Amat Champ you get from that very cool starter deck. Needle King base sets. Polyrath. Zapdos. I think a bunch of these I tried I chose not to I think I already have some tens, but uh, I feel like all the base set cards that are in good condition I'll eventually want to get graded. We have a Flareon, this is just the regular set, as you do see the symbol right there. Electrode, Mr. Mime, Victory Bell, Mr. Mime first edition this time. Wigglytuff. I think I see a significant scratch right there. I'm not sure if that's on the, the perfect fit or on the card. Moving on to Fossil, we got a Magneton. So again, guys, these are all cards that are currently not part of our submission. And if you see like, oh man, dude, you have to send that one in. Just let me know what you think in a comment down below. Moving on to some Rocket cards, Weezing, and then a first edition Muck. A first edition Weezing, another Magneton. Definitely want to get this graded. We got some more Jim Blaine's Charizards. Moving on to Neo, Hitmon Top, Fortress, and Pharos. I love that art. Celebi, a Magneton, another Lugia. This probably is the worst of the two. Yeah, you can kind of see some good necks on there. And then we got some more base set Charizards. We have a whole lot of these that we do need to get graded eventually. 
I didn't even count. There's a lot. Of, this one is a legendary collection Charizard. We don't. I don't think we have a reverse this ending that's actually in good condition. And a base set too. So we got plenty of the, even though they're all the same art from a number of sets as far as that iconic Charizard goes. All right, we got another stack of cards to go through. Another base set too. Ah, uh, so this one we did. It was really tough to limit down to 40, and this was the cosplay Pikachu that we did have to cut the Gyarados. This is a Japanese shiny Charizard. So like these Japanese cards are really uh, important to me, or I very much value them. This is what started it all. Uh, before Hidden Fates was even announced, I was so excited. I actually purchased a full set of all the shinies and the full art supporters and such for the Japanese set. So. We do have a bunch of these, and they're definitely not as worth as much on the secondary market compared to the English variants, but these are really important to me. I do want to get a bunch of these graded. We got a whole mess of more screen promos. I love these. This is such a cool, like, there was, like, basically an exhibit in Japan where the, I think it was that something, I think the last name is Munch Exhibition, and they kind of gave these out for going. All right, we got some more shiny Charizards. Uh, these cards are nothing too special, but I think it's just a really cool promo. Red's Pikachu. I think it's actually very cheap, too. I think they're... I can't remember if it was $5 a pop. That was like shipping from Japan. Some more screen promos. These are not exactly in order. But we have a lot of these. When these first came out, I bought a bunch of them off of eBay. So definitely want to get all of these graded. The Pikachu is, I thought, I think initially this was the most expensive one, but then it turned out the Mimikyu one was you have to buy in a low, one of those little portfolio things. So actually this was the rarest one, as I think they just wasn't as widely printed as the other one. So these ones are super valuable. We got some of these cool battle, 2015 battle promos. Have a handful of these. And then more uh, Ultra Shiny GX, as what they call it in the Japanese set, as opposed to Hidden Fates. We got some Rayquazas. Leafeon, Ho-Ho, -Oh, Ninetales, Articuno, Glaceon, so just a lot of cool cards. I probably will submit more Hidden Fates English cards, but I don't really want to break up my binder collection. Maybe at some point when we do do some more Hidden Fates openings, which I'm sure we will do at some point, we'll get more cards for to submit to PSA. Gardevoir, love Gardevoir, Sylveon. And then some gold cards from the Japanese set. The only difference in the Japanese set was it did feature the Ultra Necrozma, which I believe they didn't do for English because it was already in Dragon's Majesty. So that's basically, as you can tell, we have a huge backlog of cards that we still want to send. So a reminder, just let me know if there's any cards you think should be submitted in our first one. Let me know in the comment down below. On that, guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for all the support on the YouTube channel. We recently broke 900 subs. That is so awesome. We are on that final march to hit that, uh, you know, that elusive 1K. So thank you all for the support. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.